Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Epcot for the International Flower and Garden Festival 2024. My mom has been wanting to have a Flower and Garden Festival day and today the weather is so beautiful I decided we come on out, smell some of the flowers, eat some of the food and have a beautiful Epcot kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. It is such a beautiful day to be hanging out in Epcot. The temperature is in the 70s. And this past weekend, we were seeing temperatures as high as 94 degrees. And today we got a nice little, uh, little cloudy day here, but no rain. And I like it. My family has been here for almost a month now. It's crazy. I've been having the best vacation ever with them. We spent 11 days at the cabins at Fort Wilderness. We stayed at Disney's Port Orleans. We've been just kind of just taking it all in and going at a nice slow pace. That's why I'm making it a longer vacation without cramming everything in because my mom gets tired. You know what I mean? She can't come to the parks day after day after day. So we've been doing like every other day and stuff like that. And it's been actually very nice. The Flower and Garden Festival goes on until May 27th, and I'm excited to show my mom some of the good food, like the seared scallops, and also they even have a concert tonight. I think the Plain White Teas are here. Hey there, Delilah, what's it like in New York City? You know, it's a lot of good stuff. Food, music, flowers, everything you need here at the uh, Flower and Garden Festival. We're going to start our day actually making our way to the butterfly tent. Right in the front of the park by the land, they have a little butterfly exhibit. We're going to go ride uh, Journey into Imagination uh, because it's Ariel's first time riding it. I want her to be able to see Figment for the first time after this. But my mom's got to get her butterfly fix. Ooh, they're landing almost right on you, Ma. I know. Wow, look at all those butterflies in there. If you just stay there all day, you'll definitely get one laying on your hand. Look how close they are, Ma. I have never been in a butterfly There are so many butterflies over here. Bonnie, you're trying to get the aerial shots? You got it! Oh, someone got a, a butterfly landed on them. Mom's still waiting with her hand out patiently. <laughs> my mom loves the butterfly tent we're trying to go over and ride figment i think mom's still in there bon ariel has been non-stop yelling rides all morning i heard her she's rides 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 so that's why we're gonna go into figment because it's probably the most intense ride here mom have you ever rode this ride never. really bonnie mom's never rode this I am pretty sure my mom has rode this ride before. She can't remember sometimes. Like she doesn't pay attention a lot. Except for she remembers Soren. She loves it. She remembers it's tough to be a bug because it stung her. So like she has different reasons why she remembers rides. <laughs> Ariel, you ready for a ride? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Remember this scene? Our research shows that smells often trigger the imagination, especially when pleasant, familiar smells come into play. Yes, come into play. <laughs> I love to. Figment, this is not a good time. It's always a good time to use your imagination, so let the good times roll. The nose knows. Figment, what is going on? You're turning this entire open house upside down. Upside down? Now you're talking. That's the best idea you had all day.
Did you like it, Ma? I loved it. And you sure you've never rode that before? I'm positive. Wow. I'm gonna have to look this up because I, I have a memory of riding this ride with you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where the memory came from. <laughs> Ariel, did you see you can play music here? Yeah. Watch, you can go like this. Look at you, you see you're controlling them. Up and down, good job. If you guys saw my Epcot video, my mom wanted to do Flower and Garden Festival last time. And we didn't have time, so I told her today we're going to spend most of the time over there. But we want to do like the seas with Nemo and Figment uh, with Ariel before we head back into World Showcase. So that way she's just not like hanging out. Because once you go back into World Showcase, there's not many rides or activities for kids other than like, you know, the Kid Cot and the other cool things that they have. But nothing for Ariel, you know? Mom, do you remember riding this ride? It's in the aquarium. No? You might not have. I can't remember. You got me questioning everything now. Bonnie. Hi. Whoa, look at that. Fancy. Just keep your eyes open for all the way. Yo, we really got stopped right in front of the shark that pops out and scares people. Okay, now that we got the rides taken care of, uh, Bonnie and my mom want to head into World Showcase and start grabbing some food and looking at the flowers. My mom is literally not here for the food. She's here for the flowers. She loves them. She knows all the different types. I was like, I didn't know you were so knowledgeable. You know, I always feel good when my mom starts taking photos or something. It's like she's just impressed that she has to take a photo of it to share it with somebody else. Best photos ever. Luckily, I have been to the Flower and Garden Festival, so I've tried a little bit of something from every single booth so I could steer my mom in the right direction. Uh, I know that she loves coming to the festivals and she likes doing like the cookie stroll during festival of the holidays, but she's never been to Flower and Garden before. Our first stop is going to be the Florida Fresh Stand. I absolutely love this stand because they have a grilled warm water lobster tail and then they've got a Florida strawberry shortcake and a cucumber watermelon slushy. And I think we'll get it all so we could try. You guys ready to dive in? Yeah. I got lobster tail, strawberry shortcake, and a cucumber watermelon slushy. Ooh. Here, try the slushy. It'll cool you off a little bit. So there's, it's just cucumber and watermelon. And ice. Oh, delish. It's good, good. And then here's the lobster tail. Look at this. Look at the char on the lobster tail. You can have this one, Ma. Okay. You got it? You, now, do you put lime on it? Yeah, and you gotta take it out of the shell. It's it's already it's just cooked right in the tail. Get all that on there. Wow. Look at that. Sucker. That's all meat. Look at that. Ma, what do you think of the lobster? Is it good? Yeah, I love the butter. And now we have the strawberry shortcake. And this is all from one stand, the Florida Fresh stand. Oh, Ariel's drinking the slushy. Is it good? Yeah? You want yeah. this? Want some strawberries? Yeah, strawberry shortcake. We got ourselves a nice little spot here. Bon, what do you think? Strawberry shortcake good? You don't like lobster, my honorary bees. Mm -hmm. We're pollinators. I got two, mom. One for you and one for her. <laughs> there you go. Look, we're pollinators. <laughs> what do you think? Turn around, look at Nene. Cheese. Oh, don't trip. My mom doesn't think it's a big enough size of a lobster tail for eleven bucks. Lobster's pretty expensive. 
I think my mom is literally the first person, like when you say, hey, you want to hang out at Flower and Garden Festival? She says yes and like just looks at flowers. Yep. Like really, like <laughs> everything's cool except for my mom's just like, oh wow, go get a picture of that yellow butterfly over there. Look at all. Oh, and it's a butterfly. It's a butterfly. Okay, well now I think we're gonna keep moving along and make our way into Mexico because I want to get my drink with my mom and sister. My sister wants to try my drink. I have my own uh, PMM Old Fashioned that you can buy at La Cava, and uh, used to come in a really cool cup, but uh, they're all gone. The cups are gone, uh, but you can still get the drink. And uh, my mom doesn't drink, but she said she's willing to try it. And it's a peanut butter banana Old Fashioned. So she might like it. You know what I mean? The wait times are low, but I think it's because everyone's in Epcot like in World Showcase Like nobody's riding rides. They're just hanging out. It's such a beautiful day for it We're heading right into the Mexico pavilion though, Ma We'll come back and try some more of the food on the way out. Okay. We'll do a full lap today. We're going all the way around the world Bonnie wants to ride the Grand Fiesta Taurus since we're going inside. Ariel's never been on it. I love this ride though. It is a good ride. And it's good to keep out of the sun a little bit. Yep. Have you here? Bonnie, yeah. you've never been to the Grand Fiesta Tour? Yeah, I've been on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, doesn't that AC feel so nice, Ma? All right, Bonnie has the uh, PMM Old Fashioned. That's my drink. Yep. Look, and now we have a peanut butter chocolate pocky inside of it because of my trip to Japan. There you go. So give it a try, Bon. I want to see your first reactions. It's very peanut buttery. Yeah, very peanut buttery. Yeah, see? Yeah. Very nice, very subtle. You get the of, like, more banana. Yep. But when you take a sip, it's more peanut buttery. Ooh, there you go. All right, Mom, you're going to try just a, sip, just a very, very tiny sip. Yep. First time drinking in I don't know how long. Smells good. Oh, yes, yeah, yes. Strong. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm telling you, that warmed up my whole body. <laughs> oh. And all I had was the itty bitty little one. Oh, we gotta be careful now. Yeah. Let's go on a boat ride. Oh, sounds good. Ooh. You rode this ride before, Mom? I think so, yeah. Yeah, she remembers this one. Isn't this so cozy, Mom? <laughs> just think, if you lived in Florida, you could just... Pop in that pot one day and just come ride this ride if you're ever feeling down and blue. Yep. Look at Donald as a pinata. It's a fiesta! Woo! It's Donald Duck! The Grand Fiesta Tour is such a relaxing little boat ride. Hey, how are ya? Thanks! Hope you have a great day! But now I think we're gonna move along and make our way uh, to, well, China. Cause we already went to Norway the other day. So let's just hop to China. Mom, you should really get one of these hats. I think so. It would be really good for the heat. I don't think so. <laughs> I think it'll work. Nope. My mom didn't want to go into the China pavilion. She wants to make her way back to Germany. Because she wants to go to the Werther's store. Fine, I'm giving you a little break from uh, stroller pushing. Yep. I like it. 
It honestly feels different just walking through Epcot pushing a stroller. <laughs> I feel like I'm walking with better posture too. Yep. My mom loves Warthers. I remember they used to be at my house all the time. She'd have them on the coffee table. She'd have little jars of them. Oh, and that Warthers popcorn. Can you smell it, Ma? Yeah, look at that. Bagging it up fresh. I think they have a Warther's like carrot cake sandwich. Yes, that's Yeah. We gotta try it, Ma. And the popcorn. Look at that popcorn. Oh, there's the sandwiches right there before they're getting like filled. I don't know what this one is. No, they're filled. I honestly thought, like, when my mom said she wants to do Flower and Garden Festival, I thought she wanted to do like the food boots and stuff like that. But she's like just going for like the core Epcot food. You know what I mean? She wants Warthers and she wants to just look at the flowers and stuff like that. And I'm kind of cool with it. Nice, easy pace. And it's really nice because it's very beautiful out. So it's kind of just like a family stroll around World Showcase. We got ourselves the carrot cake in Germany. Look at that. Mom's got the warm uh, Warthers popcorn, a Powerade. We have to cut this up though and split it though. It's too, it's too good for one person to enjoy. Yeah. Here we go. How is it, Ma? Did you try it too, Von? I'm a big carrot cake person, though. I tried to convince my mom to just go full-blown Epcot and eat off the trash can. But I think she refuses. So I'm not eating off the trash can, which honestly doesn't sound unlogical. <laughs> oh, now we're grabbing into the popcorn. Oop. Thank you. The popcorn's just as good, but that carrot cake, much too good. I know Bonnie wants to get Frushi. We'll get Frushi. And then uh, while my mom was enjoying that popcorn, I told her they had other good popcorn here too. So probably the popcorn in Canada. And here it is, the Frushi. Strawberry, pineapple, lychee wrapped in coconut rice, pink soy wrap served with whipped cream, drizzled with raspberry sauce, and toasted coconut. Frushi time. You've been wanting this forever. Like years. I'll get one for you and for one for mom. Hey, what, you want Fushi? Yeah, okay. Fushi for you too. Fushi for all of you. Look at how pretty these cherry blossoms are. It matches my cherry blossom shirt, actually. Look at that. Roosevelt's actually put this out. I was going to wear it when I was in Japan, but they didn't blossom yet. First time trying Fushi. Here we go. I would get a little of the strawberry and then get it with the whipped cream. There you go. It's pretty good, right? You can have mine, Bon, if you want. Do you like it that much? It is pretty good. Now, do you guys like sushi? No? Yeah, so this is like your first time eating like, like I guess, fushi. Sushi, fushi. Mom, I didn't know you liked sushi. Oh, look at you. Oh, Ariel's trying it. Ariel likes it too. Now that we got the Frushi business taken care of, I think we're gonna make our way to Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Go ride Remy's, cause I don't think uh, Ariel's rode that. Or I don't know about my mom. Oh, my mom's got me all confused. I don't know who I'm riding with or when I did or when. My mom spotted Miss Piggy and uh, Kermit over here. Oh, and there's a photo pass photographer too, Ma. Yeah. I love the topiaries. I really do appreciate just walking around looking at them. I don't stop and take photos much, though. Ariel, is that Miss Piggy? Climb up, Ariel. Climb up. Climb up, I give you your forehead. Oh, my land to the lightning lane for... Uh, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is all the way out here. Holy moly, that's a long lightning lane. Yo! I mean, I think the standby is a 110 minute wait, but... Oh boy! Bonjour. Well, we're in it. We're in it. Honestly, that line went like super fast. Like five minutes. Craziness. Yeah. But we're inside now. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're going on another ride. There's Gusto. Here, Ariel. You want glasses? Yeah, you got it. You put them on, right? <laughs> I hope we get little Rem Rem. I know, we got a meal last time. Did we get a meal last time? Oh. Yeah, oh, 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 who's coming in? Who's good? There's Remy. Oh. Oh, a meal. I love a meal, though. <laughs> Are you guys ready for a culinary adventure? Yeah. <laughs> oh. not like the glasses though. She liked them before the ride, but when yeah. then when the ride came on, she's like, no. I think she thought they were getting in her way from seeing. Yeah. They probably wore because she already has special like glasses underneath it. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly my mom is the one that loves that ride. Do you love that ride? I love that ride. Ah, uh, you like a little rem rem. My mom's trying to make Ariel fly away to Neverland. Huh? Uncle Nene wants you to fly and look fly at Fly away. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Nene, don't use me. Oh, hey. Tell her. Say, look at Aunt Bibi. Oh, no, she ain't going to listen to me. Look at Aunt Bibi. Smile. Oh, she did listen. I know, you can bring a little plant home, huh? Oh, my God, I 
love that one right there. Ah, uh, you got so much on this trip, Mom. Yeah, you. I think actually, do you need another suitcase? I would have to hold that. You can hold it all the way on the way home. I'm gonna have to. You would too. How are ya? Well, now I think we are throwing in the towel. We've been here all morning. We actually got to the park early, did a whole lap around World Showcase, and now we have some dinner plans we gotta go to. Was Flower and Garden everything you thought it was gonna be, Ma? Oh. All the beautiful flowers. Absolutely I mean, just this part alone, it is. it really is so amazing here. We're going to the left. And with that, we are done here today. Uh, I had a different outro because like, I did my regular outro in the park where I'm like, you know, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Uh, but I wasn't able to tell you guys that my family was leaving uh, because we were at Epcot. That was our last like park day. Uh, and then we uh, were going to spend the next day at Disney Springs just doing some shopping. You know, my mom, she's got to get last minute gifts and stuff like that and have dinner. I was going to make a video, but uh, I woke up kind of sad. I was so sad that they were leaving it was our last day that I couldn't make a video and I was like I was like oh no you know what I mean and so uh, instead of having the old outro that I had from the Epcot video I figured I would just make a new one just so I can let you guys know that you know they're gone now and <laughs> you know I was like I was like oh man but I had a great day we went to Disney Springs I took my parent my mom well, I took my mom and Bonnie and Ariel to uh, homecoming and they loved it they loved the uh, Annie Mae's chicken dumpling soup my mom loved it and uh, we of course we stopped and got stuff from the world of Disney some shirts and stuff like that just had a nice wholesome family day at the Springs it was nice and like I said I was gonna vlog it but I honestly I was like man you know it's hard they were here for a long time the longest trip I've ever had with them and like just to be able to have my family here in Florida is like such a great experience because like I have this feeling of like missing my family back home but I love the life that I live here so getting them to come together it's such a great feeling they were here for almost a month a whole month it was awesome I was so excited and they stayed at the the Port Orleans uh, Riverside Royal Rooms they were there for like four or five days then we went to the cabins and uh, we were at the cabins for seven days and Bonnie came up to me and I was planning on going to the beach I wanted to take Bonnie uh, my mom and Ariel to the beach and we were gonna get this nice little cottage on the beach and um, Bonnie was just like, hey, we love Fort Wilderness so much. Do you think there's a way we can just save the beach for next trip and just extend and stay here? And I was like, yeah, all right. So, I mean, I was able to, you know what I mean, cancel the reservation for the beach. And I asked if they could uh, let us extend. And they said, yeah. And they loved it so much. And then we stayed here uh, for the most part and had nice little, like, movie nights and hung out it was really it was nice having them here and i was so excited and I'm, I'm, I'm happy i got to share a lot with you guys like i it, it was great i'm gonna have that like as a little like memory like a like a scrapbook back in the day my mom had like vhs tapes of us like hanging out well now i got youtube you know uh, but no i'm i'm sad that they're gone i'm gonna miss them a lot hopefully they're gonna come back soon and now i got a lot more ahead of me in fact i took them to the airport and now i'm leaving i am going to the airport i'm coming to chicago I'm going to Chicago for the very first time. Literally today, I'm flying there, and uh, I'm going to be there at C2E2, which is a convention in Chicago, and I'll be there uh, Saturday, April uh, 27th, uh, from 1.30 to 3.30 at the Roosevelt's booth. So if you guys uh, are at C2E2, if anyone's going to be there, come by and say hi. I'll be there Saturday from 1.30 to 3.30, just hanging out, you know, just chit-chatting. I'd love to see some of you there. And then I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to try to make a video, trying all the iconic food. If you guys have, if anybody has any good spots to go in Chicago, you know what I mean? I'm looking, I'm looking for the pizza. I know everyone says deep dish, but I hear a little bit about a Chicago thin crust that I'm a little interested in. So anyone got any ideas for a Chicago thin crust spot, let me know. And I want to go to uh, Mr. B, I want to get a Chicago, like a uh, beef sandwich. Uh, I think we're gonna go to a baseball game probably it's crazy I, I love like I said like like having this lifestyle and being able to bring my family and bring them down to Florida and having them as a part with me and even in the videos too it's it's so good like it makes me so happy and I like and then I get to like make it for you guys to enjoy you know you guys get to watch the videos and it's you know I just like it you know I like projecting like 
cool just happiness and it's like, kind of like what I'm living for, you know? But all right, I keep on talking. I, I get caught away. So Chicago's coming up, C2E2. I hope to see some of you guys there. And then I've got even more big plans. Like this year, I'm going to start talking again. This year, uh, this year, I cannot even believe the things that I've done so far. Uh, honestly, it's April. So January, February, March, April, four months. And I've been to three different countries six different states. Literally, I, I went to New Orleans, I went to California, I went to Canada, I went to uh, New York, I went to Japan, <laughs> like Florida, like well here in Florida. It's been amazing and, and, and this summer, like I, like I said, I could have swore 2023 was gonna be the best year of my life, but I think I'm coming in hot on 2024. So lots of great videos to come. So anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the videos. I enjoyed making it. And my mom wanted to say thank you all. She made sure I had to say that. She said, please make sure everyone says thank you for watching. So I did. Anywho, we'll see you next time. Bye.